Welcome back to Data to Decisions. In some of the recent videos, we covered the topic of comparing two lists of values, and we used two different methods in the past. One is using the formulas, one is using the conditional formatting. All these methods have their own specific use cases where they are helpful. Um, and there is also another method using Power Query, which is what we will be covering in today's video. And um, to recap again, if you have a couple of lists of values. Now, if I wanted to find out the items that are only in the first list, items that are only in the second list, items are in both that are in both lists, I can do so using any of these three methods. Um, and some business, um, realistic business scenarios where could, this could be helpful. Uh, you have a list of customers who purchase product category A, and then the list of customers who purchase product category B, and you want to know which customers are in both lists and which customers are only interested in one product category versus the other, this method could be helpful. And by knowing that, you can better tailor your products and marketing to the right audience. Let's say, for example, employees have shown interest to learn Excel, and then you have another list of employees who have shown interest in Power BI. And you want to know how many employees are interested in both to better plan your training schedule and uh, training for your employees. This type of method could be helpful to get to that decision. So now having set the context, now let's go and start from scratch and use Power Query to compare the two lists of values. So we start with two lists and I've created the values here. And I've put it into a table, and then the table name is table one, and then the second table is called table two. The first thing we want to do is to take this data into Power Query. Um, so, for example, I can just select um, and go to the data tab and click on get data from table. And this will automatically, because I've already, um, I am inside the table one, it will note the table one. And now we are within the Power Query editor. You can see that now it is loaded. Um, so one thing I will do is I will click on close and load because I already have it in a table. I don't need to load this into a new table. Uh, it's a little bit confusing, but make sure that uh, in this step, I'm going to do close and load to, and it'll say, do I want to create another table from this? In this case, I don't want. So I'm just going to choose only create connection and hit OK. I'm going to repeat the same. Uh, but you can start seeing that in my right sidebar, you can see that the queries and the connections are starting to show up. If you don't see this uh, site panel, go to the data ribbon and then click on queries and connections, and that'll show you the queries that we are creating. Now we have done, we have basically taken the stable one and put it inside Power Query, right, as a connection. So let's do the same thing for list two or the table two. I'm going to go to the data ribbon, get data from table. And now again, we enter into the Power Query editor automatically. This time also, I'm going to choose close and load to, and I only want it to be a connection, only create connection, hit OK. So all we have done in the first step is made the connection from Power Query to these two tables. Now we are ready to go and start uh, creating Further, so I did right click edit. Uh, basically, you can do any of the tables, it will come into the Power Query editor. The first step is I want to find out the items that are only in the first list. So I'm inside the table one query. I go to this option called merge queries as new. Make sure you choose new. And then it will provide you with a dialog box where you can say, What am I merging with? So table one. List one is the column. I want to merge this with table two, and the column name there is list two. I select that. Immediately, it gives me options to say, what do I, how do I want to join these two tables? And as I said, my first thing is to find out the, the items that are only in the first list, right? So I'm going to go and choose this option of left and I, which is rows only in the first option. And you can immediately see, because I have a very small data set, it shows uh, this uh, selection excludes eight of them. So there's only three that will result. Um, that's fine. Let's go and hit OK. And it will create a new query on the side. You can see there's a new query called Merge 1. And I can rename it as only in this 1 or 
but that's fine only in list one now what i want to do is to make sure that this is what exactly all the stuff that i need so list one this is fine table two i don't need this one so i'm going to right click on this and because the whole point of getting the table two was to find out which ones are only in the first i've already done that so i don't need to keep uh, uh, table two reference there next thing i want to do is to uh, remove the uh, duplicates from this so because i see that d is appearing twice and i don't want that to happen so i'll go to remove rows and remove duplicates so that will remove the duplicates for me and finally i want to sort this so i can go and click on sort ascending and this will sort fine now i've created the only in list one uh, and if i wanted to uh, let's say for example close and load two and i wanted to load here let's say uh, i wanted to load it into a table yes but where do i want it i want it let's say right here okay oh, let's do here okay i6 hit okay and now it is going and getting the data from that only in list one right only in list one there are only two rows and I can format this table as I want. So let's say I do this format. And there we go. So now I have this list one done. Now I can do the similar steps to get to the list uh, items only in the list two. And I am going to go back and right click to table two. I did, and this opens up the Power Query Editor again, and we'll do the opposite of what we did last time. So we'll go to Table 2 and say Merge Queries as New, and this time I will say um, choose my this and Table 1, and I would do only in the first, which means only in this list 2 I want to have. And then it will create a new query for me, and I can name it only in list two and then we will remove the table one reference we will um, remove duplicates i know we don't have any right now but uh, the whole point of this is that we are doing it one time and then when the data changes you shouldn't have to come back and do any of this it's a single click refresh so we remove the duplicates and then we sort it so we've done all that great now we have to go back and do close and load too. And again, I can choose where I want to load it. I want to load it as a table. I want to go and load it right here and hit OK. So this creates me, let me remove any fill that I have previously done. Go back and put it into a different format. There we go. So I have list one, list two. Um, this is essentially only in list one. That's what this is. And then this is only in list two. Now for the final part, we also want uh, items that are in both. So let's go into table one, right click edit. And this time we will do a merge queries as new, but there's one difference in the join. So table one, list one column, table two, list two column, do an inner join, which means that it's, um, the items that are in both tables will come through. So hit OK. And now we have this. And now I'm right click on table two, remove, because I don't need to see that uh, anymore. And I can change the name of the column too. So for example, I can change it list one and two, because it's in both lists. And I can name the query as in both lists. And just like before, let's make sure there are no duplicates. Let's make sure it's sorted. So those two steps, you can see them. Power Query is recording all these steps because the, we'll see what the benefits are in a minute, but uh, make sure that you can uh, follow along the different steps that we have done uh, in the specific query, removing the unnecessary columns, renaming the columns, removing duplicates, and then sorting those. Now I go back and close load to and this time I will uh, ask Excel to put it into a table and then in right here. And okay, so now that will create me another table. I don't want um, 
Excel, let's remove all the formatting that I've done and then use a table format, something like that. Okay, there we go. So now we have this, right? So we have the list one, list two, and in both lists. This is great, exactly what we want. Now let's test it. Let's say, for example, I have D here, but D is not here. So let's say I go ahead and enter D here. What should happen is it should move away from the D should not be in the first list anymore here, and it should actually go into between C and E. Okay, so I hit D, press D here, enter it in the list two, hit enter, nothing happens. And here's the point where uh, we'll have to refresh and go and refresh. I need to check if there is an automatic setting where uh, the Power Query uh, could be automatically refreshed when the data changes. Uh, but you can definitely hit this refresh. Uh, and now you saw D appear here, D is no longer there. So that is how um, the Power Query does the operations behind the scenes. And you don't see any formulas or anything here, but it's all happening behind the scenes with the connections that we made and the joins that we made. So the critical thing here is um, the type of join that we choose dictates the output. And I'll do another video in the future about all the different type of joins that you can do within uh, Excel and Power Query. Uh, if you have any suggestions, if you have any uh, questions on that, please uh, use the comment section. Uh, hopefully this is useful. We've already covered three different ways we can compare lists uh, in Excel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon in another video.